This facility behind me is an example of a hydrothermal carbonisation unit, or HTC. We've developed it in collaboration with the University of Nottingham, the Energy Research Accelerator Programme, and it's funded by Innovate UK. It can take uh, wet biomass, so that can be garden waste, food waste, or other organic waste, and convert it into bio-coal, which is a, a, a material you can burn in your home, or at your school, or at your, at your place of work. Uh, it basically mimics the natural formation of coal, which takes place over millennia, but can do it in a few hours by compressing biomass and high pressure, high temperature. Statistics show that uh, over 4 million tonnes of food waste is sent to landfill in the UK every year. So this process is an option for treating that food waste and making a value-added product, which is bio-coal. Uh, we will work with waste processors, with local councils and other large companies that produce and manage the waste, and we will uh, work with them to either install an HTC of their own or bring their material to our site, where we will generate uh, our bio-coal CPL Group is Europe's largest producer of solid fuel, so we have a natural outlet for this material at this site here in Immingham. We also have a factory in Foynes in uh, Western Ireland. So as a society, we all have a responsibility to reduce the amount of waste, particularly the waste going to landfill. People will always generate waste, either food waste or organic waste, and people will always need to heat their homes and their, their properties. The HTC technology is a, is a possible solution to, to solve that problem, to close that loop, and generate a value-added product from a material that would otherwise be in a landfill.